make this sumptuous kheer first of all you have to soak some basmati rice in water i take about half a bowl of basmati rice to 1 liter of milk so i have soaked it around half an hour in advance so that the long grains of the basmati rice are unleashed and you'll get the best creamy kheer and here i have put 1 liter of milk on fire take a little bit of milk in a cup and soak the saffron in advance so this milk can be lukewarm so that the color of the saffron is released in the milk by the time you add it to the kheer and this is the best quality saffron i got from kashmir in the milk meanwhile you can add some cardamoms 3 to 4 cardamoms pounded i also add the skin as well as the seeds which can be pounded a little more because i feel the skin adds its own distinct flavor and the strong smell of cardamom green cardamom now as the milk starts boiling you add the soaked rice into it without the water you can remove the water and here you see such a lovely color has come in the milk now you stir the kheer for some time on low flame and uh, let it thicken a bit this is something you know indian sweets they need a lot of patience you can't hurry them up and midway somewhere you can add the saffron that way the kheer will start getting the flavor of saffron and the beautiful creamy color from white it will turn to a nice off white and a light yellow color i'm adding some raisins you can add any dry fruit of your choice I like uh, kishmish and almonds especially. So almonds have already been soaked. As the kheer thickens and you see the rice is cooked, you add the sugar in the end. So now you should not overcook it. The kheer is ready. It is the right consistency. I am topping it with some almonds which have been uh, cut in fine strips. These are thinly sliced peeled almonds. which add a beautiful touch and it's a perfect garnish for this creamy kesari kheer you can chill it in the fridge and serve it chilled to your guests or enjoy it yourself with your family do try out this simple recipe of kesari kheer but it is straight from my heart and a family favorite this is my mom's recipe the way i learned it from her Keep following my YouTube channel for more such recipes. Follow, like and subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.